them out there to wave, and it is the second team out there, all of them for Washington State. Shot put up by Easter, no good. Rebound comes down to Sherilyn Molina. So across the timeline, she'll come. Barber with it, gives it to Molina with 18 left on the shot clock. Sherilyn spins her way to the free throw line. Michaela Jones, another three, got it! North Vancouver in as a post for the Cougars. Cheryl Molina gets it to Selena Molina. Baseline jumper from 15, rims off, but she gets her own rebound. And how about a reverse layup? Uh, Selena Molina onto the scorebook for Washington State. Selena now with Chanel graduated, the oldest of the second quarter so far. Eastern with it at the top of the key, Jenna Deck. She gives to Alexander. Burnham posting up, trying to get the ball. That's going to go through her hands, though, and Selena Molina. We'll get it from behind as it was her younger sister Cheryl Ann fronting Burnham that time on the defensive end. Cheryl Ann gives to Selena. She's directing traffic, looking inside, now passes to Levy. She's got it at the top of the key and will pass to Cheryl Ann Molina. Skips it into her sister's hands. From the corner for 18, no good. Clark an offensive rebound. And now Eastern across the timeline. Meanwhile, Cammie Etheridge. Had something to shout out to her team. Did not like that possession. You know, there's a steal from Cheryl and Molina. Her and her sister back in a two-on-one. Selena has it blocked, though, by Alexander. Elise Ledger Walker. Now Cheryl and Molina going to go baseline. Runs into a crowd. And are we going to have a foul here? Looks like the Cougs might be bailed out by a late whistle. That's Cheryl Ann Lynn now into her junior season at Washington State. Again, big sis Chanel playing overseas professionally, as is Bobby Buckets. The two huge departures left off of this year's team with graduation last year. And a lot of people saw both Chanel and Bobby leave and wondered what was this team going to be like. And now five games into it, I think a lot of people are coming to the conclusion they might be kind of fun. And they might be pretty good. Put off to Sorber. Now Michaela Jones open for three. That one rims off. Battle for the rebound. Cheryl and Molina's going to tie up Kershaw. And it will be Cougar basketball. And I think also for Cami Etheridge and her coaching staff. Boy, the teammates for Cheryl and Molina. It's off the back of the rim. Burn them up for the rebound. Stripped away from her. And now a pile up in the paint. And a... Jump ball to give the possession arrow to Washington State. The Cougs winning before we get to the Christmas holiday, and that's men's basketball tomorrow night against Northwestern State, or tomorrow afternoon, I should say. Great move to the basket by Cheryl and Molina, and she will put it in the hoop and have a chance at a three-point play. Foul whistled against... The Eagles, and Washington State 60. Eastern Washington 41 with four on the edge. Out top to Sorber. Sorber looking as she will put it to the deck. Now finds Cheryl and Molina in the corner. That one is up and drops in at the end of the rainbow. Cheryl and Molina up to seven points on the afternoon. Washington State. Final minute 45 here. It looks like the Cougs will have a substitution as well. Cheryl Lynn takes it again to the rack. And the Cougs, Otuga from Australia. Jessica Clark's from Canada. You've got Tadar from Estonia. And of course, the Hawaiian connection. And speaking of which, Cheryl Lynn Molina picks the pocket and goes coast to coast. And Cheryl Lynn says, move over. There's another double-digit score. She's got 11 with length of the court drive for two more for Washington State. 71 40.